when you first covered King, and I know there were times you interviewed King, so what were your impressions personally of King, and if you could talk about that whole, his strategy and, and his savvy about the media? Yeah, the first time I uh, covered him uh, was uh, in February uh, 1960. Uh, Martin Luther King flew in uh, uh, to, sp- uh, to speak to students at uh, the White Rock Baptist Church in Durham. And I volunteered to cover the story. And I went over expecting King to be talking mainly to student activists. Um, and when I got there, there were plenty of students, but they were outside the church. And they couldn't get in the church because um, older people had come a couple of hours early to make sure they got seats. And even as a reporter, the church was so packed, I couldn't get in. I ran into uh, a deacon, um, and uh, he offered to boost me into a window. And it was an unseasonably warm night in February, and, uh, and the windows uh, were uh, partially open. So I crawled in on the windowsill, and from my perch, I could see everything uh, going on. Ralph Abernathy uh, comes on and, uh, and asks for contributions to support civil rights activity. And all over, uh, from my perch in the windowsill, I could see pocketbooks coming out of laps all over the church. Uh, The pocketbooks open, the hands reach in, pull out these pocket handkerchiefs. Uh, And I came away that night thinking for the first time maybe that we weren't going to see just token change that we were going to see massive change uh, and that uh, the sentiment ran uh, too deep for it uh, not to come about uh, sooner or later. 